Hey everybody, how you doing? Amp Repair Guy here again. Okay, so um, here we have the transformer that is in the Ghost Rider amp. It's rated for 10.4 kVA, has uh, multiple secondary taps, 2000 AC, 4500 AC, and 5200. Um, I'm going to take a reading across the secondary terminals. I have the primary shorted temporarily with a jumper. Um, so I have a Fluke 289 here, it's on the ohm scale, measure resistance, auto scale, um, good meter, really good meter, not a cheapo meter. So I'm going to rest that right there, we're going to take the test leads, we're going to go from the uh, 0 to 4500 tap, 44 ohms. You go from the 0 to 5200 tap, nice and tight, we have 53 ohms. Go from the 0 to 2000 tap, 12.6. Okay, so people that know about transformers will know what that means. Um, I'm not a transformer expert by any means, but my uh, buddy um, told me that, you know, that indicates uh, uh, the uh, size wire, uh, well, the fact that the wire is thin, you know, the amount of resistance um, will tell you what's going on. So, um, obviously, this transformer should have a lot less resistance across the secondary taps. Um, you know, if it had heavier wire, the resistance would be lower, and because it has the lighter wire, it's going to have more sag. A Peter Dahl equivalent will have half the resistance or less. Um, so half the resistance, you know, of what I'm seeing here, or even less than that, less, less than half. So, um, I'm uh, going through this thing, putting a new filter cap in, safety diodes in, rewiring the uh, meters the proper way. Uh, I'll show the old filter cap. I'm going to add a glitch resistor also. Here's the old filter cap. B negative connection was lost in the top and ended up with the plate potential and the B negative and all, all heck broke loose. So I'm also changing the bias diodes from 3 amp type to 10 amp. Uh, and um, got rid of the force bias, putting in self bias with the resistor. Uh, so that's about it for now. And um, like they say, proof's in the pudding. And uh, when this is all done, I will show a video. Uh, the <laughs> I'm going to have to use my probe because the, the meter has a, uh, the, the high voltage meter on the box is like 0 to 30 volts scaled down. So I don't, that's probably not really going to be accurate. So um, I'll have my high voltage probe hooked up and I'll show what we got going on here. Not knocking the company that made these, I'm just saying the, the regulation is nowhere near what I've seen with Peter Dahl's. Um, just has to do with the wire, the gauge wire that's used. So, you know, people have their, when transformers are made, they have different, uh, specs, tolerant, you know, what, what people want the, the, um, regulation tolerance to be within, and these just end up with a lot more sag. You know, you, when you have voltage sag, you, you know, when you have sometimes volt, volts equals watts, you end up pulling more current. This transformer's still big enough, it's just gonna have more initial sag, and it'll end up drawing more current to compensate uh, the plate supply, you know, plate the plate of the tube. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back. Uh, have a blessed day. Get you later.